Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on chumbacasino.com. I looked over the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at chumbacasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's chumbacasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff that is why i'm such a big fan of chumba casino chumba casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime anywhere with daily bonuses that should brighten your day a little actually a lot so sign up now at chumbacasino.com that's chumbacasino.com no purchase necessary btw void were prohibited by law see terms and conditions 18 plus Adventures of Jungle Jim. The Adventures of Jungle Jim broadcast weekly over this station are dramatized from the full color action pictures to be found in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement that comes to you each week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Join the 11 million adults and 6 million youngsters who make their weekends more enjoyable reading the world's greatest comic and adventure pictures by the world's best artists, featured in every issue of the Comic Weekly. Insist on the Sunday newspaper that brings you the Comic Weekly. When young Stacy and his party are ambushed, only Colo escapes. He makes his way into the hills and sends out smoke signals that are finally sighted by Jungle Jim, who immediately orders a forced march across country to rescue Colo. After they are reunited, Jim sets out in search of young Stacy and the hostile natives who have made both Stacy and his wife their prisoners. Reaching a deep gorge spanned by a shaky native bridge, Jungle Jim has a little trouble urging his reluctant natives to cross it. Apparently, their fears are well-founded, for just as Jungle Jim, Lil, and Kolo start across, the bridge collapses, hurtling them down to the river beneath. Fortunately, the water is quite deep, And with their keen presence of mind, they dive as they fall and strike the water in comparative safety. Lil! Lil! Are you all right? Yes. Yes, Jim, here I am. Where's Kolu? Kolu safe? I hope so. Kolu! Kolu! Start swimming upstream. There appears to be a place up there where there's a landing place. What the devil? Quick, duck everybody. Duck under the water. Those natives up there are sniping at us. Stay under and swim as close to the left bank as you can. See if he comes up. Oh, those swine have got our range again. Well, there's only one chance to fool them. The rest of it. And then when they fire again, fall back into the water as if you've been hit. Then swim well under the water and stay there as long as it's humanly possible. But swim upstream. There they are up there. Yeah. Trying to hang over the edge and get a good beat on us. Get ready to fall quickly when they open fire. All right. I'll try to keep close to you. Hey. Oh, you'll pay for 
of this, you cold-blooded murderers. See, white man and friends die. White man and white girl die. Shot. Fall in the river. You see them no more. You'll pay for this, I told you. Very soon the white police and soldiers will come to punish you. White man's aeroplanes will come like birds of death. We're not afraid from white man. Chief, he say, kill your friend, Jungle Jim. Big white man, strong in power. We kill him. We kill all white men. Native friend, I do now. No one to tell where you go. You can't kill all the white men. You may kill a few, but more and more will come. We go to village. Take you to chief. Tell him we kill great white man, Jungle Jim. Vini, Vini, Hagawadi. Triumphantly leading their prisoner, young Stacy, the natives strike out for their village, firmly believing Jungle Jim and Lil to be dead. But Jim's clever ruse worked, and as the natives disappear into the jungle, Jim and Lil hoist themselves out of the river, tired and wet, but still very much alive. After a long period of rest and silence, Lil begins to feel like herself. Well, Mr. Jungle Jim Bradley, I don't mind telling you that's the narrowest escape I've ever had in my very eventful young life. Yes, Lil. Death was very, very close to it today. Mm. First, that fall from the bridge would have been fatal if the river hadn't been fairly deep at that point. And we hadn't been pretty darn good divers. Right you are. The scare I got from that was nothing compared to what happened after we came up to the surface. Those natives were too close for comfort with their sniping. Two or three of those bullets only missed me by an inch or so. And those rifles they were using were high-powered modern rifles, too. Boy, I'd give a lot to find out where they get them. Yeah. But listen, it'll soon be getting dark, lady. We've got to find some sort of shelter. We can't spend the night out here on this flat rock. No. But, Jim, what about Kolu? He hasn't shown up yet. What do you suppose has happened to him? I'm afraid to think, Lil. But as soon as I find some sort of shelter for us, I'm going to look around. He may have dragged himself out of the river further downstream and is resting up. Later, he might move down this way. All right, Jim, I'm ready. Let's move off. I'm beginning to realize this place is too much out in the open and we're liable to be spotted by those natives again. Well, come along this way. Move close to the side of those walls. We're less liable to be seen in the shadows. Uh-huh. There may be some sort of a cave or natural rock shelter along this canyon. It'll give us a good hideout. I hope it's a good deep cave hidden away where we could light a fire without drawing the attention of those natives. You know, that water was cold, and I'd like to dry out and get warm. Mm, I don't mind about my wet clothes, much as I do the two rifles and our cartridge belts. It's the only protection we have left now. This place along here will help us hide out and give us some protection. Yes, and I don't want to move too far away from the river, Lil. No. We'll need the water. If we have to stay here very long, this will be the place to get our food. The animals must come this way for water. Right here. Yeah. This looks like a place. Yeah. See that deep crevice in the wall of rock there? Just big enough to get into. It may lead into a cave, too. Mm, I'll go and investigate. Looks pretty good to me. Stay here until I step in. Okay, Lil. It's not exactly a cave, but it'll do very nicely. Come on in. Say, this is all right. There's enough room. Mm, I think so. We're going to have to pass up that fire for a while, I'm afraid. Smoke will rise up above the top of the walls and we'll be seen. Okay. I feel a little bit better since I moved around. We can probably light a fire after dark. I'm sure, if we keep it well back there so the reflection from the flames won't show. Now, you just make yourself comfortable in there. I'm going to explore a little and see if I can't find out what became of Kolo, Moko, and the rest of the boys. Okay, Jim, you go ahead. I'll be all right in here. I hope you find Kolo safe and sound somewhere. Jim, so you finally got back. I was beginning to feel a little uneasy. Sorry I took so long, Lil. But I made a most careful search for some trace of Kolo. The rest. And 
No use holding anything back now. We're alone, Lil. The only ones to survive that disaster. Damn. I'm afraid one of the native sharpshooters finally got cold. Oh. Like they did the rest of the party. I found one body. A native who had managed to climb up on a rock. But he proved too good a target once he was out of the water. And... Oh, gosh. Gosh, Lily. Well, they just riddled him with bullets. This is by far the worst blow we've ever suffered. Poor Colton. One of the finest men I ever knew. Jim, you're quite sure there's no hope. I'd like to think so, Lil. But if he had been alive, I'd have found him. That deep gorge goes down the river for a mile or more. There's no way to get up those steep walls. So even if he... Well, even if he swam down, he, he would have stopped and climbed out of the river on some of the rocks. Try to make his way back along the cliffs. I heard you shout to him to swim upstream in the direction we were headed. So if he'd followed your suggestion, he would have caught up with us. Yes. That's what makes me think he must have been hit by one of those sniper bullets. Gosh, Lil, I, I searched carefully along both sides of the river. There. There isn't the slightest trace of them. Which makes me feel that the worst has happened. And I'm telling you, Lil, we've lost the best friend we ever had. Cole. Filled with deepest sorrow at the loss of the faithful Colo, both Jim and Lil, alone in a hostile country, their party wiped out, most of their equipment lost, no food available, face one of the most tragic nights in all their adventurous history. Will the next day dawn with a change of luck, or does ill luck and misfortune still lurk close at hand? Don't miss the next exciting episode in the adventures of Jungle Jim. Remember... You can follow the adventures of Jungle Jim in the full-color action pictures which appear in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement containing the best full-color adventure and comic pictures. Remember, no other comic supplement can give you the top names of Cartoon Land like the list of all-star favorites to be found in the Comic Weekly. The whole family follow the fun and frolics of Popeye the Sailor, Tilly the Toiler, Barney Google and the Little King, the impish antics of Skippy, the Katzenjammer Kids, the immortal Mickey Mouse, as well as the exciting adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim. Join the 11 million adults and 6 million youngsters who every week find the greatest of home entertainment in the Comic Weekly, which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. More thrilling radio adventures of Jungle Jim will be heard at the same time next week over this same station. Be sure to tune in. (laughs) 